Hi and welcome to SM Tech Villa. I am Sadia. Today we are going to start the course of Artificial Intelligence. I have planned the complete outline for this course. If you want to check it, I will give the link in the description. Let me tell you that this is not the final outline. We will add more topics into it in future when needed. You can also suggest me the topics that you want to learn from me. I will try my best to include those topics in this course. Also, I have already designed this course in Urdu. I have uploaded some videos as well. If you understand Urdu or Hindi, you can check those tutorials. I will give the link to the playlist in the description. Let's start our class. The topic of today is the introduction to artificial intelligence. Talking about artificial intelligence, the first question that may be coming into your mind is that what is artificial intelligence? I'll explain it in a very simple way. Artificial intelligence is you can see the branch or field in which we are trying to put some intelligence into our machines so that they are able to think or act like humans. We want them to take intelligent decisions like us. So what intelligence that we humans are using? Let's look at it in this way. As you know that we are learning new things every minute, every second from the day we born till our death. We are storing these information as knowledge in our brain or memory and when we are in a situation where we need to act or take decisions, we use our knowledge that is stored in our brain or memory. We think about our experiences and we take the decision that is most suitable for us in that particular situation. We want our machines to do the same. Before artificial intelligence, our machines were only doing the things that we asked them to do or what we could. So they were not able to take intelligent decisions in exceptional or unusual cases. So they were useless in those cases. So using artificial intelligence, we are trying to put intelligence into them to make them able to take intelligent decisions like us in any situation using their knowledge and experiences. One more characteristic that we want in our machine is the rationality. So what exactly is the rationality? Are humans rational? To be honest, I think you guys also know that humans are not very rational. Especially in situations or circumstances that are related to our closed ones, we won't be able to take rational decisions. We will be a little or completely biased during decision making. But we want our machines to be completely unbiased or you can say we want them to be rational. So we are also planning to use them uh, as judges in the code in future so that uh, they would be able to make uh, intelligent or unbiased decisions using laws only. Now I would like to go to the some history of artificial intelligence. When thinking about artificial intelligence, the first name that you must know is Alan Turing. He is the father of artificial intelligence. So now the question here is why do we call him the father of artificial intelligence? Well, back in 1940s during World War II, he was the one who devised a machine that was able to break German Enigma code and they saved millions of lives. So he was very curious about the possibility of making intelligent machines in future. In 1950, he also published a paper in which he asked a question, can machines think? So he gave us a new concept or you can say a new perspective of looking into the things. He also proposed a Turing test which is a big contribution to the field of AI. The main idea of this test was to deceive interrogator about the identity of responder. We wanted to hide the identity of responder from interrogator. Interrogator is the human and responder can either be human or machine. And if inter interrogator is not able to differentiate between human and machine, then machine would be considered to have some artificial intelligence. So for these reasons, he is recognized as the father of AI. No prominent work was started in the field of AI till 1956. Just two years after his death in 1956, a conference was held at Dartmouth University in which John M. C. Carthy and some other scientists participated. They were thinking about the name that should be given to this field. There, John M. C. Carthy coined the term AI. After that, a lot of researches and work began in AI. The most challenging work, according to the AI researchers and scientists, was to train machines in the game playing. So they started using AI in the field of game playing. 
Here you can see a word search space. The question must be popping in your mind that what is search space. So simply you can say that search space is the space that gives you multiple paths or choices from your current state to your goal state. Let's check it with an example. Let's assume that you are currently standing in the middle of your house. Let's say that this source node is the your house and suddenly you remember that you have to go for grocery and let's say that you have three paths to reach to your destination. This is the goal node or your destination or let's say this is the grocery shop. And now you have to choose the right path from these multiple paths to reach your grocery shop or your goal node uh, at uh, you can say the minimum time or with minimum cost. You have to perform some sort of searching in that search space. So this is the example of search space. I hope that you understand this concept now. And the same concept of search space is also used in the field of game playing. So when we play games, we can think only one or two steps ahead to make sure that we are making the best or intelligent move to beat our opponent. So practically, we are only making small search tree in our mind. On the other hand, using artificial intelligence, scientists were able to make machines or programs that could think of millions of steps ahead so they can make a very huge search space. But still, they were not able to beat humans in the field of game playing till 1996. Then the first victory of game playing in AI was in 1996 by IBM design program Deep Blue that was able to beat world chess champion Gary for the first time. But still, it was not able to defeat him. Then in next year, that is in 1997, an upgraded version of Deep Blue was able to won the entire match against world chess champion. So the real peak of AI was started after that. Now let's discuss some applications of artificial intelligence. There are various sub-branches of AI like machine learning, natural language processing, image processing, etc. So you can say that AI is involved in various fields of the world. I have listed only three of them here to make video short. I just wanted to give you an idea that how broad the field of AI is. So the first one here is the medicine. AI is being widely used in this field, for example, to analyze diseases using image processing, etc. It is also used in natural language processing. So a lot of robots or machines are designed that can interpret our language and even they also respond us in our language. This is surprising, right? But maybe not for us because we are very used to it. But actually it should be surprising because machines can only understand the binary language that is zeros and ones. So you can imagine that AI has made so much progress now that you can see such machines around you that can understand and speak to us in our language like Siri, Google Assistant, Alexa, etc. Now the last application that I have mentioned here is the machine learning. Using machine learning techniques, we can make predictions and recommendations, etc. Let's take an example, Amazon. It is using machine learning techniques to predict whether their future product will be able to gain the attention of customers or not. Moreover, they recommend different products to different users or customers based on their choices or likings. Let's take another example of Netflix. Yes, it is also using machine learning algorithms to recommend movies to different users based on their priorities. So that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like it, please don't forget to give it a like. Please comment and share this video with others and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of the future videos. Thank you so much and goodbye.